Welcome back. An author based right here in the Bay Area is celebrating the second edition release of his acclaimed book, Two Among the Righteous Few. It tells the story how a Christian couple in southern Holland saved the lives of at least a two dozen Jewish people during the Holocaust. Author Marty Brownstein is here in studio to tell us about his story and his surprising personal connection to the survivors. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. So tell us how this book came about. Well, this is a story I stumbled into by accident on a trip to the Netherlands in May Incredible. of 2009. And my wife and I had gone for a special trip for six weeks. And we're more than halfway through, and she has this curiosity. She wants to see if any of the Weinacher family is still alive today. Because this story is about their parents, Franz and Mean Weinacher, the rescuers. Mm -hmm. And through serendipity, we are able to reconnect with the Weinacher family, where I learn so much more about what their parents did that saved the lives of over two dozen Jews from certain death. We don't want to give away the book, but it's incredible <laughs> what you found out, not only about sh your wife yes. now, but about the Weinacher family uh, and what they did. Yes, I mean, this rescue effort, you know, most people weren't getting involved. The Netherlands is under the brutal occupation of Nazi Germany. And they become, over a two-year period, of hiding people in their home, to making arrangements throughout the local little towns that they lived in to get people into those homes. And the risk and the dangers were just tremendous, and yet they pulled it through. You know what I think is so amazing, too? Every time, you know, I, I go to every Holocaust exhibit, I feel like, uh. you know, you feel just because you, you feel like you should, you know, and you feel like you should, but it's so heavy yes. that I think these stories uh, of the people who did, if not everyone was helping, the people who did are inspiring and what did it leave yes. you with to learn about the, that that it kind of gives you hope in this very yeah. dark some space. goodness in a yes. dark space yeah and you you put it very well i'll, I'll talk about because i've been on quite a journey now into it six years sharing the story 500 plus events dozen or so cities i was in chicago this july to your point mm -hmm. and the uh, at a church and the pastor who hosts me put this he said you don't miss the growing divisiveness in our country extremism around the world we need stories that remind us of the good in people tonight you're going to hear such a story. Yeah. Hmm. And that's what people have been responding to throughout this journey, about the, the values, the lessons, the good amidst the evil that the story teaches. Can you expand upon the point where the Weinachers took in this Jewish couple? Yes. A woman is pregnant. Yes. And what the Weinachers did to hide that pregnancy and what happened to that child? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Spoiler alert, we put on top I know. Because as I do storytelling presentations, yeah. the story's events. amazing in itself, but <laughs> that's amazing. And so we don't tell people that up front. So the yes. spoiler alert here, but as this is my meaningful personal connection to the story and its yes. heroes. Well, among the two dozen they saved was a young married couple, similar in age to them. Mm -hmm. And they're able to get out of Amsterdam uh, fall 1943 to the Weinacher home in the countryside. But the wife was already pregnant. And you want to talk about a near impossible dilemma under Nazi Germany occupation. You can't go to the local hospital and have the birth done. No. And so they could have done nothing. They could have sent her away. In brief, lots went into it. But they performed a miracle. They got the baby born, kept her and her parents safe through the end of the war. Mm -hmm. And nearly 10 years ago, I married that baby. You married that baby. Yes, That's yes. Yes. Amazing. I get goosebumps. Amazing. Yes, 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 yes. yes. A serendipitous that you were supposed to write this book and yes. that this story is supposed to be told. And yes. And before, before we say goodbye, a movie. I mean, this has to be a movie. Is there a screenplay? Are you thinking about this? Yeah, yes. No, thank you for asking. The, the audience has been suggesting this throughout these few years. Oh my goodness. And there is now a producer who has come on board who says, I want to make this happen. And he's working his connections and trying to build the funding. There is a screenplay already. So we're going to keep our fingers and toes crossed that maybe within the next year or so we'll see something in this All course. right. I'll Incredible. be first in line. Well, thank yes. you. Thank, thank you both. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing right. your what story. What a pleasure to see you again. Thank you both. Thank great. you so much. Two among the righteous few. Yes.